I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I've been in the community for a little while now. You've probably seen my YouTube shorts. And today we're gonna react to the Carl Jobs new video that a certain somebody <laughs> is garbage and cheated the whole time. So, I'm very stoked on that. Super funny video by him. Go check it out. The video will be in the description. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. This is apparently a bombshell video, but I'm excited to see. Geometry Dash, biggest cheater. 21, and one of the most exciting events. Well, I love all of Carl Jobs' videos, but this one specifically, cause you know, Geometry Dash. In Geometry Dash history was occurring. It was a race. A race to beat what would be considered at the time to be the most difficult level. You can hear it good? You can hear it good? I hope so. In Geometry Dash history, several of the world's best players were going head to head to be the first to beat the level Slaughterhouse. Yeah, I think Slaughterhouse! The first to beat a level in Geometry Dash is one of its. That's the level I get sent. Uh. That's the level, I'll pause it when I talk probably, but that's the level I get sent all the time as a joke. It's literally like every third comment on YouTube. Highest honors, especially when the level is seen as particularly difficult. So this would be a historical achievement for the person who eventually was successful. And while other players in the past had made decent progress, there was one player who by far showed the most promise. In late October, the player Space UK uploaded- No shot. If it's actually Space UK that he's busting, that's fucking hilarious. The video showing him getting through 90. He's he he was huge. If it's actually him, he was regarded as the best Geometry Dash player, like the best one. Two percent of the level, just shy of the end. This was easily the furthest anyone had ever gotten, and showed that getting to the very end was imminent. But after Space UK uploaded his 92% video, he noticed that something wasn't quite right. So they downloaded the video and studied it in finer detail. Then on the 23rd of October 2021, the player Colo uploaded his findings to YouTube. And his findings were shocking. According to Colo, Space UK's 92% run was hacked. His reasoning was that the mouse clicks. Here's the other thing too about Geometry Dash is everybody uses Mega Hack. It's a program called Mega Hack. I use it, and it's you can you can do you can cheat the game, 100%. But I use it for things like just like aesthetic or like quality of life stuff. So like. Um, there's a hack that I turn on for, it's called practice music hack. And basically you get to hear the actual music of the level, even in practice mode. Cause if you don't use it, then you get this boring ass repetitive practice music across all levels. So I just changed it so that you always hear the level music. Match what was actually happening in the game. It was subtle, but enough for Colo to accuse Space UK of cheating. Colo's vid was sent to the moderators of the Demon List, which I'll explain later. But the response from the moderators was as short as it was definitive. The response was just three words. You. Are. Wrong. Oh. And so Colo's video was ignored and lost to the sands of time. And several days after Space UK's 92% run, he would become the first person to beat Slaughterhouse. This was arguably the greatest achievement in the game's history, and would place Space UK as the top-ranked Geometry Dash player in the world. Ooh, a title RG Canadian. Well over a year. Canadian number two. Let's go. By many accounts, Space UK was the greatest player ever, beating all of the hardest levels and achieving things that only a couple of other people have ever done in the game's history. He wasn't just any player, he was THE player. But in April of 2023, something unexpected happened. One of the current moderators named Zoe was watching some of Space UK's recent achievements and noticed that something wasn't quite right. So- Oh, I love these. I love these. Do they bust them like with the finger movements on like the mouse? They do that for, they do that with uh, like other speedrunners when they get busted and they always have, they always go like, oh yeah, I totally have a hand cam. It's totally fine. I have a hand cam. You can see what I'm doing. 
And it's like, yeah. And then that's when we get you. She studied them in finer detail. Then on April 26, 2023, Zoe uploaded her findings to YouTube, and her findings were shocking. That's another thing too, yeah, hand cams never line, hand cams never line up. Like, you're gonna have a delay, no matter what. So like, what's even really the point, right? The ones that I've seen are, that I find better than just having a hand cam is those, the programs where you can have like your control, I could have a controller like underneath my head here, like a image, and then you can see the buttons as I'm pressing them, like they light up on the controller or whatever. I've seen those. I would trust that more than a regular hand cam. According to Zoe, Space UK's recent achievements were hacked. Her reasoning was that the mouse clicks you could hear in his footage didn't match what was actually happening in the game. It was subtle, but enough for Zoe to accuse Space UK of cheating. And if this is sounding eerily familiar, it's because I said these exact same words just over a minute ago. Zoe had spotted what Colo had spotted over a year and a half ago, but this time the moderators took it seriously. I knew something was fishy. And I knew something was fishy when I first got into this community and, you know, hearing about all the greatest players and creators and all that stuff. And, and everyone's just like, Space UK is just a god. I don't get it. I don't get it. He's just the great, out of the blue. Just this person can just be anything right away. After Zoe's findings were made public. And I'm sitting there as an older, older person going, hmm, I've ran into cheaters in my day. I think he's cheating. He's not cheating. He's just better than you. Well, yeah, he's probably better than me, but he cheated, so. Space UK was banned from the ranks. Ooh. Space UK did respond, confessing that his main completions after May 8th, 2022 were all faked. But of course, Space UK was simply doing what many cheaters do when they are caught. Try to save he face! confessed to some of what they did, but not everything. <laughs> because after this, I fucking new knew evidence it. emerged. Oh. And as it turns out, Space UK had cheated in every single major completion he had done in the game since 2020. He has faked everything he's done for almost the past three years. Oh my this god. This is easily one of the most prolific yes! and shocking cheating scandals I've ever seen. And there are many questions that need to be answered. Why did it take a year and a half after being initially exposed by Colo before he was ultimately banned? How- Because Colo didn't have that many subscribers. What did he have, like 500 subs? That's why. Did he get away with this for so long? When in hindsight, the answers were so obvious. What was the new evidence that confirmed he faked everything? And where does the community go from here? In this video, we will answer all of those questions. I really hope you enjoy. Wow. Geometry Dash, while looking fancy, especially on the harder levels, is an incredibly simple game. It's a platforming game where the icon automatically moves from left to right, and the idea is to avoid obstacles and reach the end of the level. The simplicity arises from the fact that the game utilizes only a single button, and the game only registers if the button has been clicked, held, or released. And that's the only control over the icon the player has. The icon can be turned into several different vehicles, all showcasing different mechanics. But again, they are all controlled with a single input. For example, the cube will jump when the input is pressed, and when controlling the ship, pressing and holding the button will cause it to fly upwards and release- You missed the, the coin! You missed the coin! You missed the coin! Comments are gonna light you up, bud to gradually descend. Players change vehicles throughout the level by going through portals. There are also other types of portals that change various mechanics, like flipping gravity, making the icon smaller, or creating two simultaneous icons. Generally, levels are designed to align with a musical track, so inputs feel like they are played to the music, though often the connection between gameplay and music- Okay, is this just gonna be a whole explanation of how the game plays? Because I don't think we need that. Especially on the affiliation with the developer to be given an official rating of difficulty. With the highest difficulty this is important. possible. Once verified, the yeah. level can then be submitted to the developer to be given an official <laughs> This is what's wild too, is Robtop just verified, or like, once it's been verified, so beaten. It's just Robtop and he just gets sent these. It's like, well, we just, somebody just beat this really hard level. What do you think it is? Like, no shot Rob Top's beating them. He probably just sits there and watches the video and goes, Yup, that's an insane demon. <laughs> 
rating of difficulty, with the highest difficulty rank being Demon. And this is where the Demon list comes in. The Demon List is a website that ranks the hardest levels the game has to offer. But to be on- Slaughterhouse is only number four now, dude? What's going on, Wombat? How are you? Slaughterhouse is only number four now. That is so wild. This list, the level has to be verified and rated. In simple terms, to be ranked on the Demon List, a level has- Minecap, Minecap, who made Limbo here. Very good creator. ...to actually have been beaten by somebody. I wonder if it got actually uploaded or not. <laughs> The demon list doesn't just rank levels, it also ranks players. Each level is given a score. The higher the rank, the higher the score. And players get points for completing a level or getting through a certain percentage. However, you can only get a maximum of 50% of a level's total score if you haven't gotten to the very end. So to get all of the points, you really need to beat the level. And this is why level completions are so important. Demon List then tallies the scores of the players and ranks them based on their total score. Currently, the top ranked player is Zoink, who has almost 7,000 points, well ahead of second place. And the reason he is so far ahead is because of the top 75 levels, which is called the main list, he's completed 74 of them while second place has only completed 43. Fuck. The list does go beyond 75, but after that, the score you get for completing each level drops dramatically. So it's the main list completions that really make the biggest difference. The top ranked levels on the demon list are hard. Really, 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 <laughs> really, really, really hard. Really hard. Of any game I've ever seen, when it comes to requiring pure precision in the time of inputs, Geometry Dash probably stands at the very top. The hardest levels require many frame-perfect inputs to avoid death. And this is another reason I was talking earlier about everybody using Mega Hack, because you can change, you can cap like the FPS, uh, and changing the FPS depending on certain levels gives you, I don't know, I want to say it's like a crazy advantage, but it's definitely... It, ha it definitely helps, but I don't know if it's a crazy advantage. Somebody else who's smarter than me would probably be able to explain that better. Death. Players will need to spend thousands of attempts and sometimes hundreds of hours learning the different patterns required to get through. At this level, players are no longer reacting to the obstacles visually, but rather trying to memorize different clicking patterns and practicing- This is where I suck. This is where I suck. I can't memorize anything. I have to be looking at something. That's why the newer demons are starting to get- Like the bat- like the decorations is what gets me. I feel it's like 70% of the difficulty of levels now is just the- just the stuff flying at you. ...over again in order to execute them perfectly. Personally, I don't understand how people can be this precise size for an entire level. You really need to have nerves of steel. Even on the easiest level- Missed another coin! Missed another coin! As soon as I get past halfway, I start to get nervous and everything goes to hell. But the top players, after many attempts, can achieve a perfect run that lasts up to a minute and beyond. Most top players use a mouse, some use a keyboard, but either way, being able to click with such precision is a very specific skill to have, and it's certainly one that I don't possess. Now with all of that context put into place, let's talk about the biggest cheater in Jump to Death. Let's go! Space UK. Fuck you, Space UK! Yes! Hold on, I just need to make a drink now. Now, now we're getting in the meat and potatoes, baby! Space UK began playing Geometry Dash surprisingly late, starting in me. around March of 2020. Like me! Actually, I didn't start in 2020, did I? I don't remember. I don't know if I've been even playing that long. His skills would quickly develop though, beating some decently hard levels in the following months. But his first big break would be when he beat the level Wazureta in August of 2020. This was the first time he had completed a level that was ranked on the main demon list. At the time, it was 20th, which was a massive achievement. However, while this Wazareta completion appears to be legitimate with everything we now know, it would be the last time Space UK would submit a completion that wasn't cheated. Ooh. For the next three years, he would- Yeah, see, there you go. See, so that just proves, yes, they're better than me, but I don't cheat. 
and I didn't get a video made on me, so. Fake and cheat his way to the very top of the world. So let's find out exactly just how he did it. Space UK's next big completion would be a level called The Golden, which he claimed in December of 2020. This was incredibly significant, because The Golden was ranked number two on the demon list. Really? However, this run was not legitimate, as Space UK was using a cheat called No Clip, which means he would pass through obstacles like spikes without dying. According to a later confession, Space UK claims that he didn't even realize he was using no clip. Didn't even realize. The time, and only found out about 20 minutes later. But he still decided to submit it anyway, with the mindset of, if it's caught, I'll just quit. But the run ended up being accepted. The reason it was not spotted at the time is because Space UK was legitimately good at the level, having reached 96% of the way through without cheats. And in this particular run, there were only two instances where he would have oh. just barely died. Questions were raised at the time about these instances, yep. but there was no way to prove for sure he would have died. Nowadays, however, moderators do have the tools to see the exact hitboxes and can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that death would have occurred at least twice in the run. But at the time, it wasn't as straightforward. After Space UK's completion was accepted, much to his own surprise, he decided to go full force and cheat intentionally for the rest of his career. Throughout 2021, he would complete many of the hardest levels on the demon list, including the number one ranked at the time, Tartarus. His method was to use a hack called Zbot. Zbot allows you, among other things, to program a macro that would hit the inputs at the correct times. Essentially, it lets you create a TAS, a pre-programmed run. Space would play the game normally for a few minutes before activating the macro. Then, while the macro was running, he would pretend to play, still trying to hit the mouse clicks at all the right times. The reason it was important to try and recreate the mouse clicks is that the demon list requires two specific things as part of their proof policy. One is the raw, unedited recording of the gameplay, Include Roar. I love him. I love Carl so much. Raw footage! ...the entire session. However, this only includes game sounds and not the sounds recorded by the microphone. So the second thing they need is a video that includes all of the mouse clicks, so they could listen to them and- Oh make no, I won't even be able to get on this! I use a controller! Oh fuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sure, they were legit. Space UK, similar to almost every other cheater who has been caught after dominating their game, was still a very good player, so his clicks seemed legitimate, at least when listening to them by ear. I hate this. This is the this right here, that's probably why I use the controller in the first place. I should have I should have went mouse. I should have relearned, or maybe I will go back and relearn, but like it just bothers the shit out of me. Like, I'm sitting there streaming, talking to people and, like, whatever. Listening to GH Dash and all that stuff, doing all that stuff. And all you hear is just... You know? Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Like, what? You want to hear? You want to hear this? As I'm trying to talk, is this not annoying? Is this, is this good? Is this all right with you? That's that creator in me, though. Listening to a novice player trying to fake mouse clicks would <laughs> give them away instantly, but Space UK was good enough to fool everyone, including the moderators. But then the slaughterhouse race happened, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Several of the top players were trying to beat the most difficult level yet. I love, uh, I watched, I watched Doggy stuff. He's very good too. And Space UK was way out in front. In October, Space UK posted a video showing him getting through 92% of the level. And this is where Colo makes their appearance. Colo downloaded the 92% video and really studied the footage in detail. He found that many- What's amazing to me is why wouldn't more people do that? You know, like it was such a monumental occasion. 
of somebody getting so far in a level? Why is it like they just had that like Colo was the only one who downloaded the video to make sure the moderators of that other whatever? I know they sent out that three word comment or whatever. It's like you're you're dumb, you're dumb, idiot. He totally got it or whatever. But no, I think more it people should have done this. Clicks did not sync up exactly with what was happening in the game. That's got to be a death right there. That's that has when the wave transitions into the big wave. The click comes five frames after. This is really bad. This is really, really suspicious. What the f in this wave spam, every click is like two frames later. This is really, really strange. Sometimes the clicks would happen on the same frame, but other times they would be multiple. What's called is Colo? What do you think that is? Croatian? I don't even know. But good for you, Colo frames late or even early this doesn't make sense at all now in certain cases it can be understandable for clicks not to match the footage but if that does happen it needs to be consistent for example if there is an audio delay on obs you right. might find that every single mouse click is two frames late but again it has to be consistent space uk's clicks were all over the place and there was just no technical reason to explain this this is called click variance, and now we know for a fact that a large click variance is proof that a run is hacked. Though at this specific time, this wasn't seen necessarily as concrete proof, which is why in Colo's video title, he labeled the slaughterhouse run as only suspicious instead of outright fake. Though in the actual video, he does make his true thoughts a bit more clear, saying this. So what are the conclusions? I think these clicks are faked. Some clicks are right in the frame with the movement, some clicks are one or two frames after the movement, some clicks are five frames after the movement, and I found that one click, which is one or two frames before the movement. It's impossible to have it like this. Keep in mind that Slaughterhouse has frame perfects for higher refresh rates than 60 FPS. So, it's impossible to play legit. Right, that was what I was talking about earlier. The 60 FPS thing, uh, refresh rates, that's what you can change with Mega Hack, which is the only thing people should be using that shit for. Don't just be no clipping. Definitely. And get this high delay difference. Space, I believed you and respected you, but this is horrible, this is terrible. Please confess, take down all your cheated progresses and do it legitimately. I also mentioned at the beginning of the video that Colo's video was sent to the moderator. Yeah, you are wrong. That's right. That's what they said. That's so dumb. Fucking shitty mods. The videos are filled with blatant misinformation and bad data. Sorry. What? which rejected the information and there might be a reasonable explanation for this because in the original message that was sent to the moderators there were actually two videos linked both from colo one was about the click variance which we know now was completely correct but the second video was a wild claim that space uk had been cutting his videos oh. otherwise known as splicing and as you can see there the kick starts before then on the original audio, so it's shifted. And as you can see, there is some strange click here. So I think it's cut. Colo's evidence for this was that the song in Space's game footage didn't sync up exactly when played next to the original. So he shouldn't have so he shouldn't have done this part. If he didn't send this video and just sent that first one. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, song. However, it's common knowledge that the song audio in Geometry Dash levels desyncs all the time due yeah. to various reasons. Right, that's what I meant. Like it would have, if you would have just, if you would have just held on for a response, maybe instead of just blasted those mods with like, bam, bam, this guy's cheating. Here's two big video, here's two videos, paragraph, all that stuff. They might have been more or whatever, like more uh, welcoming with the information or something. Just start slow, because you got to imagine that they probably get hit with. They probably get hit with people claiming that somebody's cheating all the time. Even if that, like, they could just not like the person and just be like, yep, he's cheating and here's my proof or whatever. And just, there's probably so much of that. And many players use a legal mod that will try to keep the song in sync with the level due to this problem. See? So yeah, so ha some hacks are allowed. So there you go. 
fun. I even downloaded Space's video oh, and checked the audio spectrogram, and there was absolutely no evidence of splicing or cutting. So what you had huh. was two videos, one correct, and one that was actually blatantly wrong, oh. and perhaps the moderators simply rejected both of them for that reason. Though moderators today will openly say that this kind of response was still unacceptable. At the very least, this information should have been passed on to the rest of the team. All of the moderators I asked said they didn't even know that Colo's video ex- Watch it be a- watch it be a big conspiracy, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Just like uh, uh, those, like the Donkey Kong guy and the the other dude. Fuck, the one that did the dragster from back in like the Pong era of gaming, where they have they're in cahoots with like the refs from Twin Galaxies. That shit. Watch it be like that. Moderators for Geometry Dasher paid off by Space UK existed until after Space UK was exposed, which meant that whoever responded to this Twitter message simply rejected it on their own accord and didn't tell anyone else. In a recent community announcement, the Demon List moderators apologized for this and stated that at the time they were getting a lot of incorrect exposed oh. attempts. So th Okay, see, so I said that. I said that. Boom. Nailed it. Look at this. New, new player just understands stuff. Let's go. They were very quick to dismiss them. So with Colo's video rejected, Space UK was free to continue to run his macros and pretend to click over the top. I assume that even Space UK didn't know Colo's video existed, because he himself changed nothing and continued to cheat in the same way. No, probably not. It seems really bizarre if he knew a video existed, literally saying he cheated and correctly identifying the way he was doing it. After Space UK verified Slaughterhouse... Come on, you don't Google yourself? You don't Google yourself one time? I feel like you could Google yourself one time. Especially in something that highly contested like this. You don't put your name, cheater. You don't like, come on now. The top player's gotta be thinking that all the time. Or I mean, I could be totally off and they know that they're not cheating, they're just that good and they never have to worry about it, but maybe they're not as egotistical. Being the first to beat it a few days later, he solidified his position as the top-ranked geometry dad. Does that, does that say RG or RC? Because I'm going to go watch that guy. Canadian, helping Canadians out, man. Look at him. He's all alone out there. Player in the world. Slaughterhouse was by far the hardest level ever completed, and would be considered the hardest level ever completed for the next year or so. Now, I'm not going to go through every single fake level Space UK claimed to be- Slaughterhouse stood on top for a year? I'll have to look that up. ...because it was all of them. But to give you an idea about how much of a big deal Space UK was, I will mention two things. Each year, the community hosts an awards show, and one of the awards is Best Player of the Year. In 2021, Space UK won yeah. this award with over 70%. Okay, I must have... That's when I started playing then, 2021, because I remember watching this one. We watched this on stream, and everybody's like, Space UK! And I was like, okay, cool. What about all these other guys? Like, come on now. ...of the vote. And there were over 21,000 voters. He also won Best Player of 2022. And in May of 2022, Space did something that only one other person had ever done. Oh my god, so I've been playing this for two years? Oh, I should play it more. Four. He completed all 75 of the main Demon List levels. The Demon List admin tweeted out this achievement, saying, This is not a feat of luck, but of pure skill and determination few others have. A message that has definitely not aged well. Almost a year the to the day. The ever do this legitimately was a player named Nswish back in 2020. And it was recently done again by the current top player, Zoink, in 2023. It's hard to... Do you see that earlier? Zoink was, like, had no votes in that best player, and now he's number one. So take that, Geometry Dash Awards. Like, what do you know? 
state how much of an impact Space UK had. Beating Slaughterhouse pushed the game further ahead than perhaps any other level in the game's history. He really was seen as the greatest player of all time. But as I have always said, and will continue to say, being good doesn't make you any less likely to cheat. Yeah. Aside from the click variants that Colo had already detected in 2021, there were other red flags that while not proof at the time, make total sense in hindsight. For example, Space UK would regularly stream his gameplay, and he would do quite well, though he would never seem to get an actual completion live. His completions were always offline. Really? There was one- Really? Nobody thought that was weird the whole time? I've never watched him. I never watched his streams. I never watched anything that he posted. I just was like, yep, yeah, cool, best player. What, what am I going to watch a video for about a level that I'll never ever beat? But that never set off any kind of flags. Like, hey, how can we never see you beat it? If I did that, if I uploaded my club step one or theory of everything two or like what it, or any of my demons and I just was me off stream, uh, nobody would believe I did it. One time where he did complete the level Rust live on Twitch. Though, of course, the stream was muted. However, after the completion, he unmuted himself and kept repeating the fact that finally he had completed something on stream. I beat something on stream. Finally, I beat something on stream. No red flags! None, hey? None of that, eh? All right. Beat something on stream, bro. Obviously, he knew that getting only offline completions was dubious, and I guess this was his way of trying to quash any suspicions. Fast forward to April of 2023, the moderator Zoe ended up studying some of Space UK's recent footage, and again, she picked up on the click variants. For example, on Space UK's completion of Acheron, the current number one ranked level, his clicks were anywhere from being two frames early to six frames late. That's a variance of eight frames. And by this stage, the moderators knew that click variance was actually a big deal, and almost certainly meant that a run was fake. Massive click variance was present in basically all of Space UK's footage. Zoe then released a video exposing Space on the 26th has 26 and 26.5k subscribers so that's would do it that would do it of april and just 20 minutes later space confessed to cheating every 20 minutes 20 minutes later the video gets uploaded 20 minutes he goes oh fuck so yeah because it's a big creator posts a video and all of a sudden he goes oh shit oh shit since May 2022. Honestly, it was hard to verify much before that time, seeing as a lot of old footage that moderators used back then had been deleted. This is a nice this level. Point. I like that level. However, Fragile? then a bombshell hit. In his messages to the moderators, Space admitted to using Zbot to program his macros. And <laughs> someone in the moderation team called Kapamari remembered that the developer of Zbot put a watermark on the completion screen. No way. No way! There's a watermark? There's a watermark and they didn't figure it out? Which you could use to show that Zbot was used. Why do I- why don't I just cheat? Why don't I just cheat? Seriously, why am I spending all this time trying to get legitimately good when I could just cheat? They don't even see watermarks? The watermark was that the level complete message was slightly smaller than it should be, going from 1,004 pixels down to 940. This watermark was... Okay, well, to be fair, I don't think I would notice that. To be fair, let me just back it up a little bit. I'm too stupid and I don't think I would notice. <laughs> the smaller font. I thought it was like a real watermark. I mean, that's that's clever as shit. But don't you think like, why wouldn't somebody say something? Somebody should have said something earlier. It was originally inserted to detect hackers, but it never actually did catch anyone. And by this point in time, had all but been forgotten about. Oh. No one had even looked for this watermark in years. But going through Space UK's completion, the watermark was present in every single one, going all the way back to 2020. He would also act out fake reactions to his cheated runs to fool people.
Oh my god. The only reason I'm anywhere on YouTube right now is because of... Uh, they're mon monumentous occasions, okay? When you beat a level legitimately, it's good. It's a good feeling. I'd be Akron. I'd just be Akron. I 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 just be Akron. Oh my god. What's that? Put this meme up real quick. No bitches? No bitches? Oh my god. Oh my god. I just be Akron. I just be Akron. I just be Akron. I actually just fucking be Akron. I just be Akron. That's not my Discord. That's not your Discord. The first Discord. Run that Chill. actually seems legitimate is Wazaretta, achieved in August of 2020. After the Zbot watermark confirmed that everything was faked, Space UK would wipe his entire YouTube channel and social media, though he would ultimately reinstate his Twitter with a twit longer apology, basically confirming that everything since and including the Golden back in 2020 was hacked. To this day, I don't know why players just don't fully admit to all of their cheating when they are caught. Because once you've been caught for one thing, now every single investigative eye is on you, and if you've cheated more, it's going to come out. What's interesting? I would rather shit my pants and cry that I couldn't beat a level on stream, and then upload it all over the place to YouTube Shorts and TikTok and whatever. I would rather that than this cheating thing. That's how I've got integrity. Interesting is that both of the click variants and the Zbot watermark were obvious signs of cheating that could have been spotted at any time and yet weren't, save for a single person, Colo, all the way back in 2021. The evidence was literally staring everyone in the face the entire time, and yet it took years before he was exposed. Oh, and remember that Rust completion he completed live that I mentioned earlier? That was using Zbot 2, which explains why his stream was muted. In a community post, the moderators did not hold back and did take total responsibility. Following the recent Space UK exposal in collaboration with the Challengeless team, we'd like to issue a formal statement apologizing to those affected, explaining how it happened and what we're going to do to prevent something like this from happening again. Although everyone anywhere under the number one spot on the list was impacted in some regard, in some regard, yeah. Uh, the person ahead of them is cheating. The biggest victims of the consequences of spaces are those who have the titles of number one player, first victor, or other big accomplishments taken by spaces hacked records. Thank you to Aeon Air. Vol oh, Aeon Air came on in. Volcanium? I don't know Volcanium, but I know Aeon Air. Uh, for researching this, the research is used here with permission. Damn. Those who would have been number one, but were not because of the space include. That's cool. This is actually cool. They need to do this in more, more game, like more speed running community stuff. This, this should be, you know, instead of just, you just make a little paragraph, like we banned him. His stuff got removed uh, from the leaderboards. Uh, good luck, everybody else. Stating, allowing space to slip through our systems this whole time is a major fuck up. There's no ignore. <laughs> ah, they said fuck up! I love that. Good for them. Regardless of the circumstances that allowed him to get by easier than other hackers that the list routinely bans, we really messed up. Ultimately, in my opinion, this came down to a matter of trust. Trusting too much that a player would never cheat. Thus, they weren't as stringent when it came to proof detection. Players just assumed that Space UK was legit, and that was that. They didn't make all the checks they should have. But what I find even more fascinating is that the community was shocked that this happened. Obviously, if you're a fan of my channel, you've heard this story many times before. Whether it's Riolu in Trackmania, Shmui in Guitar Hero, or Minecravenger in Minecraft. The world's best players often get caught faking everything. So it's not really a shock at all that this happened again. What community- Uh, everybody raise their hand. Most average players that don't have to hack nothing. Yeah? Everybody? No? Okay. What you need to do is start learning from the mistakes 
that other communities have made, or at least be aware of them. Don't wait until it happens to you. This is also a cool way for me to find out that there's a level called Sephiroth, because Final Fantasy VII is literally, literally my favorite game of all time sure beforehand that it never does. And for those wondering if suspicious click variance is common amongst other top players, I can tell you that the moderation team have since checked a ton of <coughs> other players and not a single one of them show the same signs. Nor has the Zbot watermark been found anywhere else. Wow. This really does appear to be a unique case, not something that's spread wide throughout the ranks. And while I'm not allowed to go into specific detail, the methods of cheat detection have already vastly improved since Space UK was exposed. So if you were thinking of trying a similar method, I would be really, really shocked if it wasn't immediately spotted. The last thing I wanted to touch on is the subtle theft that cheating includes. I look back at my greatest gaming achievement. I have to say, I'm very happy. You know what I mean? There's something, there's something that feels good. What's the German word for it? Schadenfreude. Where it's like you take pleasure in other people's pain. But uh, this, it's just so, after you sit there as if somebody who just comes into the community and you're trying to get into Geometry Dash and all that stuff, and you're just spammed constantly with whatever. Play the hard, this hard fucking level and all that stuff. It's really funny, lol. And you sit there and you listen up and you listen for the last couple of years about how Space UK is the greatest thing ever. Or like you're sitting there trying to like, oh, you beat your first couple of demons. And they go, well, Space UK would have done these ones already. What the heck? Space UK would have first tried all these. Like you listen to that constantly. All these new like people I talk to on YouTube, all that kind of stuff. It's, oh, oh God, it's just vindicating, you know? The good players are up top for a reason. That's all. Achievement, which was beating the first level of GoldenEye in 52 seconds, beating the old record of 53 seconds, which had lasted for 15 years. This ended up being a really big deal. There were even news articles written about- That's another good video too. Check that one out too. I mean, any, any Carl Jobs video is outstanding. ...about it plastered all over the internet, but all of those accolades and the attention I got pale in comparison to the pride that I feel within myself for going after such a difficult challenge, putting in the time and the effort and research, and doing something that no one else had ever done before. It really means a lot to me, and it always will. And no one can ever take that away from me. Someone has already matched my record, and I'm sure that many more will in the future, but when I achieve- That Magnus Wall guy, by the way, too? The best. The greatest speed. Prop, like, he's props to this guy, but that Magnus guy has, like, all the world records in this, in GoldenEye. Granted, I bet you I'd destroy him on multiplayer. No odd job. At first, it was special in a way hands only that can't be replicated. When Space UK cheated his way into beating Slaughterhouse for the first time, he stole that unique specialness from the person who would have actually beat it first legitimately, which in this case was a player named Doggy. Yeah! You can look back now and say that he was the first to beat it for real, but the moment is long gone, and it can't be recreated. No. The attention, the act- I stand with Doggy. I stand with Doggy. We're all hyped up. Everybody watching this video is hyped up. We stand with you, doggy. Accolades. The Don't you cheat. Don't you cheat now. Pride that doggy would have felt at the time is long gone. It was robbed from him forever. And this is something that I think a lot of people don't truly grasp. Because Space UK is still uploading his Geometry Dash runs to YouTube, and if you read the comments, it seems like no one even cares that he literally cheated and lied to everyone for three years. Personally, I don't understand how people could still act so positively towards him, especially so soon. In my opinion, if you disgrace yourself and disrespect and hurt a community this badly, you should probably just leave and not come back for a pretty long time. The impact from these types of cheating That's scandals wild. can never be fully comprehended. That's wild. He just comes back, hey? Hmm. 
needed because they touch so many people. To finish this video, I'll leave you with the words of Doggy, the real first person to beat one of the hardest levels in Geometry Dash history. Let's go, bud. Slaughterhouse. And I'll also leave a couple of videos in the description from players who fully give credit to the other people that Space UK robbed of their own special moments. I've always been a bit regretful of myself for not verifying Slaughterhouse initially. But I hold the level dear to me, uh, at least more than any other Geometry Dash level. This level's like my, it's like my little brother, alright? Missing out on being engraved in the story of Slaughterhouse has always disappointed me. And cut to today, uh, it turns out I verified Slaughterhouse without even knowing it. Definitely an interesting way to gain the title I thought I had long lost the opportunity to ever have. It's also crazy to look back at how much we were all manipulated into praising this absolute fraud as the pinnacle of GD skill. Lying to the community and his friends through multiple years is something I have no idea how he woke up every day and did. I'm really disappointed though that Space ended up being someone completely different than what I thought. He seemed like a chill guy, like a nice dude, but it doesn't seem like that anymore, obviously. So I was pretty bummed out about the whole thing. I'm sure this will have a huge impact on the community forever. I don't think we'll ever look at players the same way, especially the ones who provide the bare minimum evidence. But yeah, I just wanted to leave you guys with a few comments from me on this situation. For anyone out there that thinks they can take shortcuts for success and praise, just know it'll catch up with you eventually. Thank you so much. That's perfect. That's literally the perfect ending. Absolutely 100% agree. Doggy is an absolute champion. I know I'm a little fish. I am a little fish in a big pond. And uh, now I'm dropping frames because my, sh my, you know, Canada, internet's trash, but that was an outstanding video. Outstanding video.